Hello guys, uh, here's Marcin as always and today another quick tutorial for you. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this uh, smoke uh, portrait uh, effect. It's pretty simple and and I also saw a lot of uh, this type of effects uh, on the website so I decided to create one also and hope you guys enjoy it. At first we need to desaturate this image, so click image, adjustments and desaturate. Then go to filter, stylize and click find edges. Uh, now we get something like this, but now we need to invert this uh, white color, so press ctrl and click I. And okay, we get something like this. Uh, now I duplicate this layer and um, above my background I fill the layer with color black. Now I change opacity to 80%, not too much. Then go to curves. and increase the contrast, uh, but just a little. Also, if you have uh, irregular uh, background, you need to remove the background and fill it with color black. And okay, now we can uh, add some smoke uh, effects. For this, I use uh, a few smoke brushes. You can find uh, free brushes uh, for Photoshop uh, on the internet, for example on DeviantArt. If you are interested in, I put the link in the description with with few smoke brushes, as you see uh, these brushes, and to load uh, smoke brushes to your Photoshop, click this small icon, then load brushes, and find your brushes on your computer, click, and then click load. And I'm not sure what I want exactly, uh, but I think I use uh, this type of uh, brush. Uh, it looks uh, like this. And I think it's uh, perfect for this image. So I create new layer. Of course, uh, color white. And paint my image using this, uh, this brush. And now we need to adjust this uh, uh, smoke to, to our image, uh, so you can use uh, a smudge tool. To adjust this. maybe something like this. Uh, also I show you uh, other method. But now duplicate this layer. I duplicate this layer. Uh, then then click selection tool, click right and free transform. Then again I click right and flip horizont. Okay. Apply and now I I move it something like this. Maybe it doesn't look uh, perfect. Oh. Okay. Now I need uh, something for my shoulders or or. Or you can just uh, remove the shoulders if you want using uh, eraser tool. And yes, maybe it looks. I think it looks better. So I show you the other method to adjust the smoke. Uh, go to filter and then liquify 
and and you can uh, adjust uh, the smoke using forward warp tool. Uh, here you have brush size and and brush pressure and by clicking uh, here you can adjust this. I think it's even a better method uh, than the first. Also I need some smoke to my hair as you see. So now I use uh, this one. And then go to filter, liquify, and adjust this. Okay, something like this. I think uh, it's not bad. Now I change opacity on my image because it's too strong, I think to 60% and okay now you can add some uh, colors to your and okay now you can add some uh, colors to your image uh, so create new layer at the top and go to gradient. I think this tool is uh, is the best. For example, I use uh, this uh, pastel gradient to load this uh, gradient to your uh, presets. Uh, click this small icon and then click pastels. Okay. And now change blend mode to overlay or or multiply whatever you want I remove uh, some parts because it's too strong, I think. And okay, I think it's all. Uh, maybe it's not perfect because it was improvisation, but I want to give you a lot of tutorials. Of course, you can add uh, some other effects if you want. Uh, at the end you can change your background colors really whatever you want thank you for watching if you are first time on this channel uh, subscribe if you like it and see you in the next photoshop tutorial thank you